Hello everybody and welcome to your next SFML tutorial. Uh, so we've learned a lot. Uh, this is our 34th tutorial and the series is almost coming to a close. But uh, I, I want to close this off by teaching you something uh, really cool. So there, uh, we, we do have a few tutorials left but there's something cool that uh, is easy, fairly easy to do with SFML. Some of you might not find it cool. Some of you may find it cool. Sorry, but S SFML has uh, something built in so that we can actually record uh, sounds or something within our program, and we can store the sounds, or we could we could do anything with it, or we could even if we're using networking or something that we can record sounds and send it over, send it over a network, etc., etc. Uh, this one networking is a very uh advanced topic uh it could get a bit complicated uh so i'm not going to be teaching you how to uh, do that uh in this tutorial and I, I might not be teaching it for the rest of this tutorial series uh but depending on if you guys really 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 wanted that badly then i will uh i'll attempt to show you guys as easy as possible but anyways uh so this tutorial we're gonna be we're gonna be recording sounds and we're gonna store it in a sound buffer and then play it through a sound and uh so then we're gonna basically record our mic uh, whether on we have a mic on our computer record any type of sound and then play our sound back on what we recorded okay so what you wanna do is that you want to include the i o stream uh you wanna include the audio and the graphics at h p p and we want our screen within screen height. So we set our our window parameters, and then this is a new thing right here. So we have SF buffer recorder. Okay, this is this is what we're going to be using to record sound. So we say says SF sound buffer recorder, and we're going to name it recorder, whatever you like to name it. We have SF sound buffer, and you this should be familiar to you. And we have our sound, and we're going to name this sound. So this should be familiar to you. We have a boolean variable called uh, play recording and uh this is going to be true so that would say that if we should play it or if we shouldn't play what we what we've um recorded okay so we have uh two uh if statements right here so we say that if event dot key code is equal to uh key dot uh, sf key r so sorry i'm just going to build this while i'm talking so so if they press the R key, then there's a function. There's a, a function that we can use to see if it's possible to to actually capture uh, the recording. Because some something else might be using your microphone or using whatever your capture device is. So we have to see if we can capture it first. So we say that if SF colon colon sound recorder colon colon can capture, then we do record that start to let us know that we should start the recording. Else, we're just gonna write something to a console w window saying there's an error or something, whatever. Uh, and then we say else if they press the S key and not play recording. So if the the if they if they're not playing the recording, then we can stop the recording, and then we can oh then we store our recording into a sound buffer. So we say sound buffer is equal to recorder dot get buffer. Then we set our our sound equal to the buffer. So we do sound dot set buffer, and then we put our sound buffer in our in our sound file, and then we set play recording to true. Therefore, we need to, we're gonna actually play what we have recorded, okay? And then so if play recording is true, then we play the sound, and then we stop when we say play recording is false. The reason we do this is that because if we loop through and if play recording stays uh, true, then it's going to play the sound, loop again, then it's going to play it from the beginning again, it's going to loop again, play it from the beginning, and so on and so forth. And therefore, you won't be able to indeed uh, hear what you've recorded. So we say play recording is equal to true, we play the sound, and we set this to false, so then it, it won't replay the song again, and it will just play through it once. Okay, and then we can re-record something new, and then we can store it, and then uh, we can store it, and then we can play it again. So, just to show you exactly how it works. Uh, so right now I I haven't pressed anything, so now I'm gonna press the R key, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. Okay, so uh, coding made easy 
is so cool or whatever okay so I, I've, I've recorded this right now it's still recording what I'm saying right now okay now I'm gonna press the S button uh, coding made easy is so cool or whatever okay so I, I've, I've recorded this right now it's still recording what I'm saying right now okay now I'm gonna press the S button and see so there we've recorded my voice and we played it back and you can do very bold things with that sound uh recording you can save it to a uh, to a file you can do whatever you like but yeah that's just to record files now notice that the con console window it said trying to start audio capture but another audio uh, another capture is already running that's because i pressed the r button more than once uh so it detected the event more than once and since we're already recording started recording then if you're requesting to start it again then this it's already recording so therefore you're kind of going to get an error it won't affect your recording it will just let you know that the another device is already using it but that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye